Right, what is going on guys? JJ Richards, Finley Richards and Olive. Olive Richards. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Right then guys, so before we get into today's video, as always, please do me a favour, drop the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're new here, whilst you're here, thanks for stopping by. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. So, today, really quickly, it's been a while since I've done any kind of supplement review. So I thought I'm going to do one today. I'll also apologise about the background noise you'll kind of get used to that. If you haven't seen my previous video, we got some chickens, but you kind of get used to that background noise. So it's almost like I don't hear it, but you guys can probably hear it. So that's what it is if you haven't seen the previous video. Chickens, right. CMP protein dessert. So backstory, I used to absolutely love this stuff going back years and years ago because it almost tasted like those milky bar yogurts that I used to eat as a kid and I was buying myself some supplements and I saw this and I thought do you know what I'm going to give that a try because I used to love that and it's a nice little evening snack because I've just had my evening meal and sometimes in the evenings it's when you kind of get a nice sweet tooth so I thought I would give this a whirl so really quickly in terms of macros so 41 gram servings there's literally 1.4 grams of fat 0.4 grams of saturated fat, there's 4.4 gram of carb, only 1.1 gram of sugar, and a whopping 27 grams of protein. So, I'm gonna give it a taste test. Now, the one thing about myself is that I'm not financially affiliated, or I don't financially benefit from any supplement companies, which means I can be very open and honest with my reviews. And you do know, I am an avid fan and supporter of CMP. I do pay for all my supplements. And that means that if something doesn't taste great, I'm gonna say it doesn't taste great. However, most of their products do taste great. So I'm quite excited to see if this tastes as good as it used to. So let's go in. So if you look at it, it's almost like a mousse. So you mix three scoops of this with 150 ml of water, put it in the fridge for five minutes, and look, it's like a nice, thick mousse. Right, I'm going in. Delicious. Right, excuse this big fucking stupid spot on my face. If I do this, you can't see it. But let me just show you something, guys. So I've just finished a few clients in the gym and you know you've got an absolute keeper when you've got a little note there and she's got the chicken all cooked, ready because she knows it's eating time. Like when you find a woman that does that, then you know you've got an absolute keeper. Right, so quick meal. So this is meal number two of today. So look at that chicken and bagels but these aren't just any ordinary bagels we've literally we bought a bread maker about a month ago and honestly i've not looked back since bagels made from scratch these are cinnamon and raisin ones they are a million times better than any bagel i've ever bought or ever tried anywhere else like it's great but yesterday i had four bagels <laughs> and today this is my first one but we've run out Luz keeps getting mad at me because she makes fresh batches of bagels and I literally demolish them straight away so great for bulking but they're just really nice because they've got no like crappy preservatives or artificial this that and the other in them so you know exactly what goes in them also on a sideline monster the pink one it's actually pretty good Probably my second best to white, I don't know. But I'm keen to know, because I've tried quite a few of the monsters, and there's a few new flavors out. And I try not to drink them as much as I do. I only have a couple a week. Uh, I'm trying to kind of reduce the amount of caffeine that I'm consuming. So let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite flavor of monster? Because I think for me, white 
then pink, then the gold. That's like my top three. But is that this like new one? That is it like a Lewis Hamilton one or something? I've not tried that. So let me know in the comments what are your best tasting monster flavors. But right, I've got to eat some food. Then probably going to chill out. I've got a little bit of work to do. Then we'll have another pre-workout meal. And we're going to head over to the gym today. And we're going to do a big juicy back workout. And welcome to today's back session. So this is actually the second back session of my current rotation. So like I mentioned before, the first back workout is deadlifts and rows, and this one is more of a lat bias session. So start things off with, we did four sets of a dumbbell pullover. Now this is a movement that you don't often see many people do, but I promise, give it a go, it is unbelievable for hitting those lats. You'll notice from this angle that the position needs to be the elbows need to be slightly bent and pushed outwards in order to really target the lats. When you're doing this kind of movement, you don't want to go crazy heavy on the load because what will happen is then you'll be forced to bend the elbows and you'll put a lot of emphasis on the triceps rather than solely focusing all of the load and all of the tension directly onto the lats. It's a great exercise to get those lats fired up before you move on to your main compound movements, which today was the Techno Gym lat pull down. So we actually started this movement off by attaching the D-grips onto the handles to put the hands in a more neutral position, as I do prefer to pull from a neutral grip rather than the grip you can see now. However, as the load got a little bit too heavy, unfortunately, the D handles decided to snap. So the first set was a heavy working load of six to eight reps. Then again, we just took a plate off either side, and on the second set, we went more into the 12 to 15 rep range. Now, I do prefer just doing two working sets whenever I'm doing compound movements, and sometimes I will incorporate a back off set depending on volume that I'm doing for that day. So once we finished the lat pull down machine, we then moved on to probably one of my favorite bits of equipment that they have in this gym, and that is the hammer strength ISO row. And typically when I'm doing this movement, I like to set my body positioning away from the bench because as you can see, I'm actually dragging the elbow back and down towards the hip which for me just targets the lat way better than if I'm sitting upright. I tend to find that as I'm dragging the elbow a little bit higher, it's hitting a little bit more of the upper lat and also the mid back. So again, what we did on this, we just did a couple of working sets of eight reps and then we moved on to one working set, which on this machine, we were kind of aiming for that 10 to 12 rep range because I find that if I'm using this machine and I'm going too heavy, then what tends to happen is that the form slightly decreases and I'm more just moving away from A to B rather than actually targeting the lat. So just be mindful when you're kind of doing progressive overload training to make sure that you are actually targeting the muscle and you're not just moving the weight from A to B. There's a significant difference. So what we did is rather than like a typical back offset, what we did was just slightly change the movement. So again, this was more focused on the upper lat and the upper thickness of the back. And we just did two sets, 10 to 12 reps. And this was more of like a high row. So as you can see, the elbows are more in the upright position and the hands are pulling more up towards the chest rather than down into the hip, which means that I'm hitting a little bit more upper lat and upper back. So after this, my laps were pretty fried. So we moved on to a rear del exercise after that. This is one of my favorite movements. Despite the weird like mahogany look on this machine that they've tried to go for, this is one of my favorite rear delt movements. And again, rear delts are a very underrated muscle that a lot of people neglect. So after the rear delt movement, we did a couple of sets on biceps, which I didn't record for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed that back session for today. Give a few of those movements a go, and I will see you in the next clip. Right then, so if you guys didn't know, as well as a retail business, I am also a personal trainer and an online coach. So, if you're new to the channel, you may never have seen this before, but I'm very fortunate that during COVID, I decided to build my own little PT studio at the bottom of my gym. So what I thought I would do 
it's for anyone that's new to your channel, you may never have seen the gym before. So what I want to do is give you guys a tour around of the gym so you can see what facilities we've got in the muscle shed. Right, so here we are. So let me give you a real quick view of what we've got. So there is the leg extension. We've got the little Instagram wall going on there so people can take selfies after they've had a session. Got a single cable stack there. Actually goes pretty heavy. I got it upgraded there to 100 kilos. We've got the accessories wall here. So various different cable attachment, bands, etc. We have got a sissy squat bench. They're moving around. Hello. Here we have got platform and a strength shop full squat rack which is awesome you can do everything in there moving around just a bit of junk in the corner there the heating system and then we have got some beautiful cast iron weights this little beauty that was made for me by watson gym equipment loads of movements you can do on there some little dip handles that you can use on the rack then here we've got all the dumbbells so we've got dumbbells from like one kilogram and they go all the way up here to 50 kilograms little bike there and the little supplement corner as well oh we've also got the hex bar on the wall so this right here guys is my little pt studio where i spend the majority of my days inflicting pain on lucky clients Right, so evening clients, all done and dusted. And one thing we like to do, this kind of phase after I've come out of a show, I'm a little bit more relaxed because I'm not really trying to push for any size. I'm not trying to get shredded. So we're kind of at like maintenance at the minute. So what we like to do is enjoy a delicious family meal. And Lucy has cooked us up these delicious chicken. I say gyros. What is it gyros? I go gyros gyros right another one for the comment section well actually no because it's spelt the same so no one can actually say how to pronounce it so you can't comment down below because well, no, you could put I, gyros g-e-e-r-o-s i said chicken gyros gyros so somebody could put gyros g-u-y yeah, yeah but some people say gyros well, you can't do it g-e-e -E. we need to have like a a vocal this is where people click on, I know. <laughs> this, this, maybe this is why my YouTube channel sucks because it's, it's conversations like this that we have and people are like, yeah, whatever. But anyway, a chicken gyros, I'm going to say, or gyros, gyros. Anyway, whatever it's called, it looks bloody delicious. Mmm. Wife did good. Right then, so another day, pretty much boxed off, so if you didn't know, this weekend on Saturday, we've got our meet and eat event, which is the second meet and eat event that we're doing. The first one we ran at Falcon Fitness and it was very, very successful. So this Saturday, if you haven't seen it already, so we're going to Max Body's gym in Siren Sesson that's owned by a very good friend of mine, Adrian, who also owns Alpha Neon Supplement Company. So it's gonna be very, very good. So we're gonna go over there, work out, train, try some supplements, just generally chit chat, lift some weights. There's gonna be some posing workshops going on there. It's gonna be epic. Then once we've built some muscles, we're gonna go over to a restaurant. We've booked out the hall upstairs, so we're gonna have some nice food afterwards. So what we're doing is right here, do do doom. We're literally putting like a little goodie bag together for everyone for thanking them for coming along. And let me just show you these. Like, look how cool they are. Like, can you see that? Like little Christmas decorations. Got little like dumbbells inside them. Like. Lucy literally made that whole thing herself. She's very creative, very talented. So yeah, that's what we've been doing. Got a few more bits and bobs, some more goodies to go alongside that. Just trying to get them all ready because I like to be super organized. But right now, I'm gonna go upstairs. I've got my protein pudding in the fridge chilling. So that's gonna be like my little snack before bed. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bit of a day in the life. See what goes on in the daily hustle, the daily grind. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, goodbye, love you, peace.